The road to Thailand selections on May 14 has been punishing for the kingdom's young pro-democracy activists. This group has been vilified by conservative royalists and hit with dozens of charges, most seriously for allegedly defaming the monarchy, Thailand's apex institution. A conviction carries a minimum jail term of three years. In a country where royalist generals refuse to leave power, youth-led protests since 2020 have opened up debate on equality, freedom, and the distribution of power. But the personal cost has been high. There have been many changes in my life since I became an activist. I'm constantly being followed by authorities and face criminal charges. I've been charged in 15 cases, three of them for alleged royal defamation. Pro-Democrats say the May election is a vital chance to reclaim power after nearly a decade of slow growth and slumping freedoms under the government of Prayut Chan-o-cha, who led a military coup in 2014. Prayut and fellow general Prawit Wong Suwan are the main leaders of a conservative bloc, but they are unlikely to win a clear majority of the 500 elected seats in the lower house. Instead, they are counting on seats from other conservative parties and the 250 senators they appointed to reach a majority and a shortcut back to power. In Thailand's electoral system, the most popular party does not earn the right to govern automatically, but activists say they're still hopeful. People are hoping there will be a change in the power structure so that they can have a better life. This is one of the most important elections of our time. We are hoping this time it will be a free and fair election and that the people will decide their own destiny. But there is still the ever-present threat of a coup. The army has seized power 13 times since 1932. Parties linked to self-exiled billionaire Thaksin Shinawat have twice fallen victims to coups the last in 2014. Pat Hong Tan Shinawat, Thaksin's 36-year-old daughter, a candidate for premier from the Pulatai Party, says their popularity with the poor will win them the landslide needed to check the general's return. But Thailand's cycle of elections, coups and protests may not yet be over. For Rung, a 22-year-old pro-democracy activist, Change is coming. The question is, when? There's real hope in the hands of the new generation who will create change once and for all. But whatever the destiny, the starting point is this election. Wichita Dungdi for VOA News, Bangkok.